What's up, fellow toy collectors? Welcome back to Logan Figures It Out. Uh, we're gonna go on a toy hunt today. It's kind of a dreary day. We got snow, sleet, and I wake up to find out the snow plow knocked over my $300 mailbox. So I'm in quite the mood today. I even bought one of the fancy ones, you know, holds your packages for all my toy purchases. You literally cement it and bolt it to the ground. He still wiped it out. So how to deal with that this morning, always good times. So I'm a little angry. I'm hoping I have a good toy hunt so I can brighten my spirits here. Uh, I took the day off of work, do a little Christmas shopping, go on my toy hunt since it's been a little while. Got errands to run, got to get a driver's license photo taken. And I'm already uh, past two accidents on my way, so that's always fun times to get around. So it's just a, a great day so far. But uh, enough of that, we are gonna get to the toy hunt. But before we do, make sure to like and subscribe so you can follow us on all our future toy and adventures. You never know what we're gonna find. All right, let's get right to it. All right, we're at Target. Here's uh, some wrestling. That's the first time I've seen British Bulldog. Got Molly, Holly, which clearly one of those is the chase. I don't know which is which. We got uh, Star Wars, Ahsoka. She's been around pretty much everywhere that current collection was out. Beastman, Holden Strong, McFarlane. Not really much. Not too much at all. Um, let's go to Marvel Legends. Bunch of Seahawks. Bunch and bunch and bunch. We got Mr. Knight. We got Hawkeye. Then we got Kate Bishop Hawkeye. So that stuff's pretty out and about. Um, I'm going to check the NECA. We'll see what they got, but not a whole lot here. All right. So this is a new store for the hunt, uh, Barnes & Noble. They have an exclusive Spawn comic that I am looking for. I doubt they have it, but you never know. We're going to find out. All right, so I couldn't really film in there because they were at the front counter. I asked the lady if they had more. They did not, but they had two left. Uh, so this is a McFarlane cover. This was used as promo artwork like 10 years ago for a poster, and it never came out. Um, this book has been in the making for a very long time. Finally just released, so I grabbed one. I'm like the biggest Spawn collector, and I didn't even know about this being a Barnes & Noble's exclusive. And I got the second from my buddy Brownie, who, you know, gave me the pop in the last video. He's a big comic collector. He told me about this. So I had to get him one. Um, they're $15 each, which is freaking crazy. It's like Barnes & Noble. Dude, you're scalping your own stuff. Um, whatever. But I, I needed it. They are super cool cover. So check yours. Mine were at the front counter. I checked comics. I checked the magazine racks. There's nothing over there, at least in my store. Check them. They're only like 25 bucks online, so you're maybe making like $10. But again, I didn't buy them to sell. I bought them to collect. But if you need them, they're still out there. So it's two days after Comic Book Wednesday. So there you go. Next stop. What's up? Welcome back to Logan Figures It Out. We're at Target. And we'll be making a video soon about us opening two packs of cards. Yeah, two so. Of cards. Um, one, my mom. Mommy surprises with all right <clears throat> new stuff we're at a different target logan had a wrestling tournament today got fourth a little rough day one two lost two but you know uh there we got sybaris he's brand new mcfarland stuff um we do have the new NECA et stuffs here we got van helsing splinter pretty cool the and then we got Ronin Last Rowan and Turtles. This is brand new. Also cool. That's about it, really. Um, we'll check the 12. Here's Last of Us. Seen this at the comic store, but new to Target. All right, let's check toys. All right, tis the season of clearance. So we got Blue Marvel, 1149. Um, M'Baku, which... It says 12.49 here. It's actually 7.48. And then we have Nokia 17.49, which is actually down to the 12.48 price. So scan your stuff because it's typically cheaper than that. We have this version of her is 12.49. So that's hey. out and about. Um, it's not too much. There's some Cobra Vipers here. And also look what I found. We found Big Amigos Fujitsu. I 
I got one for Christmas for this bowl. Wow. Yeah, so I mean, there's not too much here. Like, there's some Transformers, or Transformers, uh, Power Rangers 1324. Transformers are right there. Not much in that way. Some Jurassic Park stuff, 1099 down from 22. That's not too bad a price. Uh, Triceratops is 9.99. We can read it. Buzz Lightyear. Buzz Lightyear yeah. stuff. Um, here we got Avatar. These still will probably not move. We got a uh, retro collection down to $5.99. We got Tika the Jawa down to $13.99. So you're not going to find too much new right now. It's mostly going to be clearance stuff, but you just never know what you're going to find. So we figured we'd take a look. And whatever these things are. What are these? Today we're going to be unboxing our pile of loot. Yes. It got very wet. That's why. I'm a little scared of how this stuff's going to be inside there. But we took the video for Big Bad. If there's damage, they'll fix it. But not there for our ours. It's clearly FedEx. So we'll see. Yeah. Let's unbox this thing. But there's quite a few figures that are not at retail yet. Probably never will be. So it'll be quite a surprise. I guess we'll do this video since the toy hunt's been... Slow lately, holidays, we're just busy and the stores are way too crazy, but discount season's upon us as you saw in the last little toy hunt. So we'll be out and about looking for good clearance items, right? The new Masterverse wave, which will these be in stores? Probably not. Yeah, probably. So we got Frosta, whose hair does change if you put it in water and hot and cold. So I guess it goes from clear to blue. Oh, that's okay. Princess of Power is not my main thing, but it's okay. Yeah. Keep going. He-Man here. Yeah, so this is the movie version, which we know clearly looks nothing like Dolph Lundgren. I don't even think they had the means to try to make it look like him. But there you get more like the toy head. It's still a really cool figure. We haven't gotten one uh, from Mattel. Super 7 did theirs, of course. So, all right, that's cool. That's cool. Keep going. Evil Lynn. Alright, so this is like the bat version from the new cartoon. This is a cool Evil Lynn, I think. This is great. Yeah, pretty nice. I don't like necessarily maybe her like leggings there because it does just look like it's painted on more tattoo than fabric, but it's a nitpick. It is what it is. We got Skeletor movie version. Yeah. Now this looks more like the Frank Langella version than the He-Man does. But obviously since there's makeup you don't have likeness rates. But yeah, that looks really good. The detail in the chest and the silver paint applications or the metallic paint applications comes with the cosmic key. Yeah, this is a really, really cool figure. It's one of, like, maybe the better Masterverse figures ever. Staff looks good. Wow. Maybe. Uh, hey. Oh, that's why. Let me take this one off first, then. We got Zombie Iron Man Marvel Legend. And it... It, it, I haven't seen these in stores yet, but this was out maybe a solid month ago at the local hobby shop, the VR Hobbies. They've had it, but I had it in my sitting in my loot for a long time. I haven't seen them retail though, so I don't know if Target's is late on this. I've seen other ones from this wave, but they've been solid cases. They're not getting uh, the assorted stuff, so... Okay. 
put Stratos. All right, so this is from the damage side of the box. Let's hope he's not damaged. It doesn't look like it. Bent. No, wait. No, that's how they all come. They're angled. That's how the packaging is. So Stratos. I don't really like this Stratos. I do like the face piece that people were complaining about. It's like a pilot gear, but it also looks like a beak. I just think he's a little too beefy. It's like he's either roided up or he just got like the post-holiday fat. I don't know. I like the Stratos from the cartoon where he has the yellow wings. But it's okay. It, it's just, it's not my ideal. This is what Logan's talking about. They're angled packages, as you can see. So luckily he survived. Let's see if the rest do, but. <laughs> Let's see. Um, Roboto. Yeah. I actually have an old one of that toy. Yeah, I get, I don't, I don't like his chest on this. I like the big gear. I, I don't know what the plastic stuff in the middle is. The I, like the, I like the old version where Other he can that, spin his body. Yeah, it's very cool, right? Yeah. And he's not really metallic looking. Like they should have did more like the Skeletor. This is too flat of a paint. He looks plastic. He's a robot. It should be metal. The swords are cool though. So, I don't know. There's better Robotos out there. Yes, like the older version that you can spin his body around. <laughs> yeah, so we just saw this at the store today. Yeah. So these just pretty much hit uh, yeah. retail. Let's see if we can open it here. Yeah, I love these. All right, there's just regular old E.T. I got all the rest from Walmart already. It comes with the peanut butter candy. <laughs> Not Reese's. Nope, just peanut butter candy. All right, that's cool. These are, of course, like reissues from NECA from, I don't know, almost 10 years ago probably at this point. Keep going. got our first Star Wars here. Yeah, so this is the brand new Ayla Secura. She's not in stores yet. This will show up eventually, probably at Target. My Walmart's around here. They have not been getting Black Series at all. Target's been getting them pretty heavily. So that stuff's starting to hit discount too. I'm waiting for those Obi-Wan exclusives to really get cheap. Zombie Santa. So we're a couple days just out of Christmas. Yes. Um. Yeah, this is not good. Why is this all wrapped up? I'm going to complain about this to Big Bad. It's their exclusive. You can do better. Um, and these figures are expensive. It's really cool, though. So this is from Fresh Monkey Fiction. Whatever that is. And you can is. see the rest. The Krampus is cool, too. Um, yeah, neat. And of course, this is the Marvel Legends package, and they just reuse the same stuff. So I don't know if it's the same factory or how they get that stuff that get used. So you got He-Man here with Baby Cringer. But these figures will not be in stores, that is for sure. The, this wave just hasn't done well. I highly doubt. I haven't seen new product of this. So. We don't even have... Merman yet. That's not even out. That's cool. Besides that damage. New packaging design. Okay, here we go. We got the Dark Trooper Star Wars Mandalorian. Very nice. So this is brand new as well. Again, not in stores yet. These figures are really expensive for what you get. I'm still not sold on this type of packaging, but it looks good. It'd be cooler if we could actually see the figure though, right? Yeah. All right. We got Snake Man, Master of the Universe. King Hiss. All right. 
So this one arrived luckily in pretty good shape for being a big card like that. Looks good. This scales with the yellow. It honestly looks like corn on the cob. Look at it. Yeah. It was always a bad figure back in the day because the armor snapped over top, so it was pretty terrible looking. But uh, this is, I would say, an upgrade to the original. But it's also 40 years later, so it should be. Cool figure, though. Leader of the Snake Man. Got some new He-Man. We got Hordak from the new one. Ooh. More new He-Man. So we got Hordak. This one, I've I've won in Merman too. This is a and cool Hordak. figure. I, I like the redesign. You get this glittery back guy. Um, clearly, Hordak's a female now on the show. That doesn't bother me, but it looks really cool. It's just a good design. Again, good luck finding these retail. I don't think it's going to happen. We got another new He-Man that's bent in the corner. So we got Merman. We were just talking about this one. Like, yeah, you are saying you didn't know if it was coming. I knew it was in there. And then Damage, this is kind of bent. That's yeah, all right. That's not too big a deal. That's just, it's not bent. It's just... Little dog ear folded. Yeah. I, Another good redesign, I think. I didn't even I think. know those were things. Oh, this had. squid guy's really cool. I didn't even see it. Oh, yeah. Translucent. That's really neat. That's the one I want. Awesome. Merman. If I could talk with a gargle, I would do it. I can't do that. Another holiday special, Star Wars. The figures that are so terrible, they're cool. Yes. They were even on our top ten, Chris. Like, I think, yeah, it was yeah, Christmas. Yeah, from last year, we did top ten Christmas action figures. I put the wave on, so they added to it. This year's were better than uh, the previous years. They went a little bit more unique. Top ten. So... I don't know. They're just obviously a novelty item. Not too bad, but... So we got He-Man, another snake one. Got Thunder Punch He-Man. Yeah. Got, like, cool glowing yellow prints. Yeah, you got those, like, Glared flame things. effect, I guess. The punch there, you can see the scales on the packaging. It's another He-Man. What are you going to do? You got the vac metal accessory. The sword should also be vac metal. I don't get why that's not, but and it's He-Man. Not terribly exciting, but he obviously the line's named after him. You gotta have a He-Man yeah. every so often. Yeah. Two more after this one. I don't know what this is. <laughs> <laughs> this is the new Leatherface from the Texas leather Chainsaw. No, no. One of the worst movies I've ever seen. That's not what he used to look like. And this is one of the worst figures I've ever seen. But I'm a horror completionist, as you probably know from my videos. I had to have it. I mean... That's not what man, he used to look like. He looks so better back in the old ones. He does. And his face... I don't even know if he looks like this in the movie, to be honest. I think they did look worse on the figure than the movie. But Migo... They're clearly just like for nostalgia. They're not going for a great look. But I feel honestly they're one of those companies that couldn't do it if they tried. So they don't really try. And then they just pass it off. Well, we intentionally made it look like junk. There's Mark Burnham. Eh, I don't know. It's the only version of the new Leatherface so far. So you got that going for us. You won all versions. You got to have it. It's the only one. I and actually no idea what this is just when you thought a figure couldn't get worse we got a worse one look at this outfit it's dumb these girls look god awful <laughs> and then he has like this t-shirt on he doesn't have a t-shirt on in the movie probably no he doesn't and it says well like why would you make him look like that like he doesn't have a shirt on, but he clearly does. Oh, my. It, no. I don't know. These boots? Why are they so clean and shiny? It's like you have wrestling boots. Ay, ay, ay. 
I don't know if Adam Green would be happy with There should be blood. <laughs> there should be blood. There you can clearly see. He has no shirt on. King there should Hunter. be blood on the boots. Ay, ay, ay. This, this is the worst figure of 2022. <laughs> okay, next one. Actually. It's New Year's Eve, by the way. This is how we spent New Year's Eve, unboxing toys. So. I actually know what this one is. We Happy got, New Year's to everybody. We got Ghostface. We end it with the worst figure ever. Ghostface? Yes, this one's not too bad because it's obviously it's easy to do since Ghostface actually wears a cloth outfit. Yeah. This one's pretty good for Amigo. Now, they are doing 100 different versions. I think there's like literally 20 versions of Ghostface with all kinds of different face applications what? of what? anything from a Britain flag to just purple, green, orange, red. You name it. I don't know if I'm getting them all. Don't. Well, Johnny says, Logan says no. No, there have be too crap, many ghost right? faces. And no, well, I don't know even know why. Like, what does it have to do with the movie? It's one of those things, if I see them at Walmart, I'll probably do it, but I'm not going to order them. At least uh, not old. Is that it? Yes. Thanks for watching another video of Logan Face It Out. Make sure to like and subscribe. And this is all our toys that we got. Got a lot.